Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're gonna play The Binding of Isaac, and I'm gonna play as Isaac. By the way, drinking game for this episode, take a drink every time I say Isaac. I promise I won't make it too hard on you. I can't not do this on the first floor. The possibility to get a second secret room and then like, 10 cents? Well, it's actually only 9, but still. Uh, right off the bat is too good. I will trade my bomb for that, even though in the most, uh... In most cases, I actually prefer to keep this bomb. I used to prefer to use it, like if, if there was a treasure chest or something available, I would I would use it. Uh, because I always thought that, hey, what you get from the treasure chest is likely to cancel out what you would the value from one bomb. Uh, but now, you know, the deal with the devil meta is so strong that I try to use it to find spirit hearts uh, from tinted rocks or other situations so that I can actually, like, uh, you know, have a confidence of getting deals with the devil. By the way, thank you, uh, obviously there's always a little bit of a backlog in Isaac episodes, but thank you to everyone who talked to me or tweeted me and said, uh, you know, hey, you don't fully understand the deal with the devil mechanics the way it actually works, and apologies, this might be slightly ignorant here, but I'm gonna try to get the sentiment right, if not the actual numbers. Um, but the, uh, the way it works is that, yes, you have, like, the, the percentage chance that I had hypothesized to get a deal with the devil, on your first deal with the devil eligible floor if you don't take red heart damage like the cellar part 2 or the basement part 2 for example but if you've taken a deal with the devil on the previous floor then your chances of getting a deal with the devil on the next floor go down by 25 percent I believe that is if not oh that's pretty good if not numerically accurate at least you know in tone accurate so basically taking a deal with the devil lowers your chances for getting a deal with the devil on the next floor which is a good thing from a balance perspective and now I know I really thought we'd have a pretty good chance to get into 15 cents on this floor. Hopefully we can make it work on the next floor, but either way, you know, 20 cents, or sorry, 10 cents right off the bat is is pretty solid. I can't really complain about that. I, I kind of doubt we'll be able to use our D6 effectively on this floor, and we certainly can't take damage if we want to have a very good chance of getting a deal with the devil, but uh, I, I really can't complain about getting single cube of meat and guardian angel that really makes our uh, orbitals super useful they're both offensively decent as long as we you know get close to an enemy and they're both uh, d well defensively improved I guess by the fact that we have guardian angel I mean I guess they're not guardian angel isn't defensively improved but you know what I mean so we can on this floor uh, play the blood bank I would like to earn a couple of keys normally you don't get a blood bank on the second floor because you don't typically have uh, more than five cents but we find ourselves in that rare situation where not only do we have more than five cents, but the RNG has kind of gone our way, uh, and, and the arcade exists. So we can probably use this to our advantage, but man, if I could... Oh, that was scary. If I could just get a key to make sure that it'll actually work for us, that would be great. Well, first things first, we're going to take out the boss. I'm going to be... Oh, crap. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to gamble that I can beat this boss without taking damage. Uh... I, I revise my uh, my earlier hypothesis. Double Gertie Jr. and I think they're actually like slowed down when you fight them as a boss on like the first few floors. Uh, they're, they're not as quick as they are when you face them as like regular enemies in the later game. That being said, they're still annoying. There are good things about this Gertie Jr. fight, namely that uh, you know it drops a spirit heart at the end, so we should be at least if we get a little lucky, uh, we should be able to have a chance, a better chance at least, there we go, to get a deal with the devil on the next floor. Um, but I botched this one only by a couple of shots, which hurts pretty badly. But it was indeed botched, so we'll reroll that, it does become an HP upgrade. Save that eternal heart for now, or not eternal heart, spirit heart for now. I would love an eternal heart, but it, that's not what it is. Alright, so we're trying to get keys. We're in a bit of a weird situation, uh, I would... Oh, maybe a key here. Well, it's just money. That will help us, because I'm going to use that to gamble on the uh, on the slot machine to try to get keys. And we can always replenish our money a little bit with the red hearts that are available. Also, if we get a bomb, we could trade that for uh, a key by way of that tinted rock. But we're not sure if that's how it'll work, but it may work that way. Hey, and we just got a key for free. Okay, so I think the the smart money here is probably on just getting something from the shop first. We won't have a reroll, that's disappointing. But I, I do think because, you know, the shop's a little bit more time sensitive, that the, the smart money is on going to the shop first. And I think that 15 cents for a map is a really good deal. Because it does allow us to uh, get secret rooms in the future, which is extremely important. So we're going to gamble pretty hard on this blood bank. Get to 15 cents first, and then we'll buy the map, then we'll come back. 
Preferably we can get the speed and HP upgrade here as well, but uh, hey, there it is. That was uh, kind of a surprise. This floor is starting to shape up very nicely in spite of its, uh, you know, inauspicious beginnings. So there's our map. Now I would like to be able to find that secret room or just earn more keys on the way out here. So I don't hold out a lot of hope that this will work out, but there is a chance. Oh, come on. All right, I'll give you one more shot here. This is bombs. This is what I want. Hey, it worked out. Okay, that's uh, very surprising and also great. So I think we'll pop this bad boy down here. It's a unicorn horn, which sucks. I was really hoping we'd get some more money there so we could gamble a little bit more. And you know what? I'm actually gonna... I know that we have uh, two bombs. I think I'm gonna use both of those right now to try to get a key to go to this item room. So there's two cents. We'll take that two cents and we'll play this guy some more. Maybe we can get some more bombs. Or, like, more keys is really what I want, but Red Heart's not really uh, something I'm interested in. Oh, good. All right, so we'll blow this guy up, and he gave us a pill, and the pill is friends till the end. Well, at the very least, you can't say we didn't try there. We we did our damnedest to uh, get all the upgrades we possibly could. Unfortunately, it didn't really work out, but hey, there's a spirit heart. We got two HP and a speed upgrade. Curse of the Labyrinth. Okay. Well, this is uh, quite a trip to get to our potential boss room here. It is the caves, so I'm happy it's not catacombs. I expect that we'll be able to get to 15 cents, but there is the uh, real risk that our shop will contain greed, but that might not be the worst thing in the world. Sometimes fighting greed is okay. What I'm worried about now is that the floor is so big, it's going to be hard to subsist on this one spirit heart long enough to, to snag a deal with the devil. But it is a, um, it's a theoretical possibility, at least. So let's keep moving it on here. Looks like we won't be able to bomb our way into any special rooms via the secret room, which is a little bit freeing in a way because it means I can just go to the secret room right away with only one bomb, and it's not like that's gonna cost us anything major. This floor is really, you know, high time for us to pick up some kind of damage upgrade, whether that be tears or something else. And I figured that we would be able to get some money back. Won't be an arcade on this floor. Probably. There could be a Temperance card, but there won't be an Arcade. Because I already... Oh, yeah, that's bad. I already gambled uh, all of our money away on the last floor, trying to earn a single key, and yet we find ourselves in the same situation here, completely bereft of that which opens doors. I don't know why I just stood there and let that happen. I thought... I guess I was trying to have some bravado. There go our spirit hearts. And there's our first key, so I'm going to use that since we're right here. Really? You're going to give me Wiggle Worm, followed by Toothpicks? kind of preferred not even being able to go to the room on the last floor. You know what? I'm going to play you until we get down to 7 cents. That's what I'm looking for right there. Okay. So that second key is pretty nice. Could use that maybe to go to the shop, but instead I'm going to uh, try to pop in here and get to our item room. Let's teleport. So we have a lot of work to do on this floor with uh, reroll. With respect to our rerolls, this is not a fantastic position to find ourselves in. We did get one penny for our troubles there. So that is something. And truth be told, it doesn't really matter which one we reroll, they're both equally worthless. So, I would like to go to the curse room. Oh, Guardian Angel saved me here. Thank you. Uh, I would like to go to the curse room. We'll probably wait on it just because we still haven't taken red heart damage. So it would be good to maybe, who knows, maybe I get super lucky or start playing very well for the first time in my Isaac career and uh, I end up uh, not taking red heart damage for the rest of the floor, however unlikely that may seem right now. It is a theoretical possibility, but let's be honest, it's not going to happen, so I will be going to that curse room at my uh, earliest leisure after that point. 13 cents. I am still... Oh, don't move. Don't move. If you just don't move, they can't see you. And you can just keep shooting. Alright, that room is always a little bit scary. No reason to go back into that secret room. I, I thought it had the unicorn horn for a minute, then I remembered I am very silly. Alright, that's good enough. Another HP upgrade that also opens up our other item room for uh, rerolls in the future. And we're starting to stack up a very good amount of HP. If only I could find a way to trade that for maybe some kind of offensive potential from a deal with the devil. 
Our other terminal over here does contain the shop. I had a feeling it might, and uh, if we get a key, who knows? Uh, we'll have discovered like all of the expected special rooms on this floor. We don't have a key yet. The, the key's not urgent, I suppose. There is a chest we can get uh, for one bomb, which might be worthwhile. Oh, come on, don't be his freaking protector here. There we go. Get into the permanent goo state, then you got nothing to help you. There's another key. Alright, we will use that to open the shop. And we'll probably get this chest. Just because it's closer than the other one. I don't want to invite any kind of evil on me, but I still haven't taken red heart damage on this floor. Alright. Surely we'll be able to get two more cents at some point. I just want to check out the shop first to see if I really want to use this bomb, because I could use it on a tinted rock instead. Yeah, I probably want to buy that, but we're going to start by coming back here and re-rolling toothpicks first. Which I think is a much smarter idea, because Mom's Purse is good enough. I mean, we're going to have to take the Polaroid anyway, so Mom's Purse effectively allows us to take one trinket with us. Which is good. Trinkets can be good. We don't have any yet. But they can be good. $3 bill is acceptable. I, I, I think it's above average in usefulness. The way I tend to think of it sometimes is that, you know, my reflection is bad. Lemon Mishap is maybe not my favorite, but uh, if you just get Mom's Contact on the boss fight, what is it? It's probably like an 8% chance, but it's an 8% chance that you basically have a much, much easier uh, Isaac or Blue Baby fight. Or both if you get super lucky. Triple shot's good. Very few of them are actually like what I would consider to be bad. Because this is an XL floor, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of rerolls kind of in waiting. There's still the potential of this deal with the devil. Not that I'm saying it's likely, uh, but uh, there's the potential that we get that deal with the devil. And if we do get that, uh, we'll want to save a reroll for that, which means we probably do have a reroll that we can use on the shop if we want to. Yeah, because there's a long way to go here before we actually make it. Uh, this is a dangerous situation. Uh, super low range and. You know, silkworms. Not like this! Okay, thank you, Guardian Angel. Um, yeah, hopefully you understand what I'm getting at. We'll reroll Mom's purse because we don't have a trinket yet in hopes of getting a better shop item. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I really thought I'd be able to work that out there. This is the one situation where having uh, one, knowing the secret to using one bomb to get that bridge would actually. Uh, really pay out. Normally you are already have two there. That's okay, we can still make it work. Thank you for dying, I appreciate that. Helps me out a lot. Let's go back, okay, well now we have two. So things go terribly wrong. Oh! Never mind, we got the lucky magnet effect for a room. It's not called the lucky magnet, but it was very lucky that we got it. So yes, I'm gonna reroll Mom's Purse. Mom's Purse is good, don't get me wrong. But I'm gonna re-roll it in the hopes that we get something a little bit more useful. It can happen. And this run is shaping up very interestingly so far. If it's Book of Revelations, I will totally take it. I won't take it with me, but I'll use it. Nine volts, so that gives us an immediate re-roll. And, in my opinion, it is a much better item. Than Mom's Purse. Uh, it's the, the second best of the spacebar improvers, in my uh, estimation. We might as well go through all the rooms here. I don't really see any reason not to. Except that maybe we take damage on this room. Which is actually looking like a theoretical possibility. Come on, really? Do I have the range necessary to hit you from afar at least? Oh, the teeth are gonna do it. Thank you. No. Oh. As long as I don't take damage on that room, it doesn't matter. Because we have to go through every other room for the remainder of the floor in order to get to the boss fights anyway. So, it's not like I'm, uh, you know, taking any unnecessary risk after that room. One of you has to die, like, immediately. Thank you. Really? A little hardier than I remember. I appreciate the extra bomb. You are silkworms, but you don't have eyes. That makes my life a lot easier. I don't know if you're like proto-silkworms, or you're like the matured form, you know? I'm not the guy that gets deep, deep into the Isaac lore or anything like that. If you are, I'm glad you exist in this community because I am not that guy. So we could buy a key for our, our nickel here. Oh, that was a really unfortunate spawn, kind of. Uh, but yeah, we could, we could buy a key for our nickel here, but I don't necessarily love the thought of doing that. I would rather just have one drop. 
as just happened. Not interested in opening that golden chest unless we get a skeleton key in our very near future. I really don't want to jinx it. But we seem to be uh, doing pretty well on red hearts here. Okay, uh, just be cool here. This could go wrong. Thank you. They're very good. Bomb for a bomb here would actually... Oh, this is a bad room for my reflection. Tell me you can hit that TNT barrel. Thank you, and thank you, Guardian Angel. Uh, oh, we just got the lucky magnet effect again. Wonder if we could do that again uh, if we just continually walk back and forth between that room. One day we'll get that key. Might take ten rooms. I'm kind of willing to go through with that, though. Okay. Our damage is a real sore spot here. I'm very glad I have eight bombs. If we end up fighting some easy bosses, or... And well, if we end up fighting any bosses, I could use those bombs to really increase our odds of not taking red heart damage. Which is actually something that might be a defining, like, feature of this run. I'm gonna... You think I'm not gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. Might take us a little while here. You just in, sit back and enjoy yourself. Yay! There we go. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. All right, so it's annoying boss 101. At least we killed one silkworm with that. Come on, dude. And you're gonna spawn the laser bullet flies too. The problem with with Chad is that he gets a lot faster as he gets smaller. Also, if he could actually eat the bombs, that would be great for me. But yeah, as time goes on, he only gets quicker. I am gonna use all of the bombs necessary to make this happen. We did it, okay. We don't really want little Chad, so we'll move on. And then it's gonna be Gertie, and this is gonna be a freaking, like, marathon, not a sprint. But be ready. I'm gonna use one bomb, we'll save one, because we want to make sure that we can go to the secret room on the next floor. And this is gonna be probably a little tedious. But it's also the very final room that will give us uh, this deal with the devil chance. And if this doesn't work, and we don't take damage, like if, if we don't take damage and we still don't get a deal with the devil, I'm gonna be a salty individual. You know what? Check that shit out. Popped another bomb down. You didn't think I would do it. You thought I would be too prudent. Seriously, can we get a little less shit on the screen right now? It's becoming a touch uh, scary here, Gertie. Uh, thank you to Cuba Meat for saving my life there. And actually, having homing shots, I'm not going to say it's a disadvantage, but considering we're dealing with a totally stationary tar- What hit me? Are you kidding me? You have to be. Considering we're dealing with a totally stationary target, I actually think that homing shots are kind of bad because they don't allow me to really precisely aim at what I want to aim at. Did I actually just blow it by taking one little bit of damage on Gertie? Simply because our freaking base damage is not enough to cut through the incredible shield that, that Gertie has going on here? I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be very salty. It could be mitigated if I just get like a half decent item here. This floor was a marathon. And I did super well not taking damage. A little lucky at parts as well. But I did uh, super well not taking damage for a long time. And then it all just blew up in my freaking face, didn't it? And I'm all out of bombs, too. I'm not going to the curse room, I guess. It's a long walk down to the next floor. It's Necropolis, but at least it's not an XL floor. I guess that's the one positive I can say here. All right. Uh, number one. Number one is uh, obviously a little bit of a scary item. We got the same situation ahead of us here. The fact that I hope I didn't miss a tinted rock. If I did, like that's that's my own bad. But as of right now, I feel kind of righteous in blaming the game. Little Chad again, huh? As I should have picked it up on the last floor, but at least this one's re-rollable. And I do think I have to go with Little Gish. Little Gish is good enough to take. Now if we could just get one fucking spirit heart. Just one! One more to protect us a little bit. You know what? I do want those ten bombs. I don't want to fight right now for them, though. Very interesting uh, predicament I've gotten myself in here. 
There we go. Oh, okay. Be very, be very cautious. I'm not being very cautious right now. Please be killed. Thank you. All right, that room went better than expected. More keys is also great. Don't get me wrong. As salty as I can be, uh, the keys are still very much appreciated. Just, just be dead. I can't dodge you forever, guys. You know that. What do you have? Like twelve hits per per greed here? Umbilical cord. Well, in a way, it makes me happy to have not taken uh, uh, to have not taken Guppy's paw or not Guppy's paw. <laughs> Mom's purse. Totally different. You know what? Because we have rerolls ready, I'm gonna reroll ten bombs. We can probably get a much better item from the secret room. That speed upgrade isn't it, but I still have hope. And I know that this might cost us our chance at the secret room. So be it. Ah, uh, this is a bad room. Oh, well, free trip to the secret room. At least if we take damage, we got something out of this. But uh, I'm very disappointed by the fact that we have number one here. Our damage output is subpar right now. Not, not acceptable for long-term use. How did I somehow miss that penny? At least we lived. We lived on that room. Oh, man. Um, well, it's tempting to just walk out. But I'm going to fight Greed because he's going to drop either money or an item pedestal, both of which would be nice. And that money actually does make a big difference. That's going to make our shop for sure useful on this floor. All right. We're having to scrimp and save here, but we're getting the job done. Necropolis 1 secret. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Skeleton key. Now, it's going to be an annoying room. Don't get me wrong. Just be cool here. Uh, and I mean, I mean that for real. This room, it has a tough opening, which we're seeing right now. Uh, a pretty easy middle. I think it's just hoppers. Followed by a nasty ending. So, you just be smart here. It's really the spider on this one that can trick us because he's got a uh, different uh, movement allowance. Oh, then we got Zambros. Okay. But we got 99 keys. That's worth way more than 10 bombs. In my opinion, at least. Hopefully, you, you agree. If not, feel free to submit a 10-page uh, uh, report on your findings and why you disagree. You can have it on my desk by tomorrow. No rush. No, like, a lot of rush, though. It should seriously include a lot of references. In particular, to maybe their Moving Pictures album, which I think is their defining work. Okay. So, we have a lot of money. Uh, we have a lot of keys, so Guppy's tail is actually like a, a... Oh, come on! I know there's gonna be people who are like, well, you made your own bed by taking damage. You're not wrong, but at the same time, have mercy. Taking no damage uh, on an entire floor in Isaac, you know, it's, it's half of an achievement for a reason. It doesn't happen all that often. That being said, we didn't take damage on the boss yet, so there's still some hope. Now, again, Guppy's tail is now, in my opinion, a viable item in its own right. Of course, I would love to become Guppy. Not quite at that uh, level yet. All right, let's try not to take damage in exactly the same way we did on the last room. The way I took damage on the last room was totally my own fault, by the way, I'll admit. Just got a little too close for comfort to the enemy, and uh, he walked into me. Walked in a direction I didn't expect him to go, I think. And that's pretty much exactly uh, what happened there, except this time with bullets. All right. I don't think that actually lowers our, our chances of that deal, so I, I don't mind it as much as I otherwise could. We've got uh, tough love on this room, which is actually, I mean, it's a straight upgrade, so I don't mind that. I don't even mind getting number one. It's only when number one shows up on a room that's not very good. Map and compass. And we do have a, uh, oh, mom's contact. Perfect room for it. We do have a, uh, a spirit heart. And the way I think we're going to handle that is we're going to pick up that spirit heart before we go into the boss room. You might be saying, I know you're trying to protect your red hearts. Why don't you save it for the next floor? Oh, that was stupid. Well, the next floor is uh, is Necropolis or Depths 2. It's pretty unlikely we're going to get a deal with the devil on that floor to begin with. It's got to go through some, um, you know, we got to do some footwork if we're going to make that happen. So why don't we just try to maximize our chances on this floor? It's probably a better shot than... Uh, been waiting for the next floor. Also, I don't know why I'm having this incredibly long conversation with myself, but uh, there you go. What's done is done. 
So first things first, we're going to make our way into this boss room. The other thing is we have more than enough money to, to make it so that it's not a uh, really a pressing concern. Oh, I hate homing tears on this room. It's not really a pressing concern if it all goes wrong. We still have more than enough money to, you know, be totally fine uh, buying something from the shop on the next floor. As long as it's uh, still 15 cents, as it's been every day since October 2013. September 2000, October 2013, I can't remember. I think it was like the end of September 2011, not 13. What am I talking about? That's when Isaac came out. Because the joke didn't make any sense to begin with. All right, seriously here, Mr. Jerry Curl. You gotta be taken out. None of those shots hit? a surprise to me. We don't really need that uh, key, so it's going to be Mask of Infamy because, of course, it's going to be Mask of Infamy. I didn't even buy the Spirit Heart. You know why? Mr. Jerry Curl did, like, a war of uh, fucking attrition on me, and I, I, I lost my mental focus. It's like that blacksmith in, uh, in the catacombs is always talking about. I, he spoiled my focus. Now, the way we win this fight is exactly what just happened right there. Um, we, we get Gish to do a slow. Our damage is so bad that we can't just rely on like the occasional hit. But yeah, we get Gish to do a slow. And then we kind of sneak in from behind and get a, a few shots in. Don't want to get too close though, because he has a, a, a hair trigger for turning around. Come on, Gish. A lot of those shots didn't hit, so I can't blame you for those too much. Uh, it's bad timing on that one. He's got me in a weird cycle here. There we go. Okay, slow. Get a few shots in from behind. It's going to be a long one. Prepare yourself. It's okay. Get him going in a straight line. Oh, more or less okay. The mask has very little HP as far as bosses go. We've got to be getting fairly close. Thank God I didn't reroll little Gish. I, I did think about it for a moment. Decided it would be dumb. Feeling pretty smart right now. Good stuff. Okay. Really? Like, the, the slow needs to last longer. You hear that, Rebirth team? No! Are you kidding me? Yeah, what? It'll die in two hits now. You gotta be fucking kidding me with this war of attrition bullshit. Oh my god. Fuck the spirit heart. Fuck the world. I... Look. When it comes down to it, if you look at this run, who's taking damage on the bosses? I'm taking damage on the bosses. But the game is not giving me very much leeway to avoid making that happen. How many tinted rocks have we had? If we missed some, I apologize, but I haven't seen any. Um, except maybe... Do we have one on the first floor? We might have had one on the first floor. Uh... How many uh, damage upgrades have we had? Well, we've got $3 bill, which doesn't really count. And we've got uh, the coat hanger, which sort of counts. I'll admit, I like the coat hanger a lot. But that's not really a lot for Necropolis Part 1, especially when you've got no leeway when it comes to your freaking red hearts. Oh my god, the game froze for a minute there. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a little salty, because this is a run that could be great if only we could get a deal with the devil. But many reasons are precluding that from happening. So, uh, I'll be heading down to the next floor with map and compass. This is good and 9 volts. Don't get me wrong. But not a lot of hope for a successful run if we don't find some high damage item. I don't know why uh, the game is like half freezing sometimes when we go through these doors. That's a little concerning. Disconcerting, I guess. Alright, well we can, since we have a reroll already, um, maybe the game will just crash and then we won't have to finish it. Uh, that's needlessly negative. So I don't really care about red heart damage on this floor, but we can do some somewhat clever stuff. There is a uh, there's a secret room right here. So we can pretty much immediately get to that and save a reroll. The downside is that it will use our two bombs, but we're going to go to the secret room anyway, so... Alright. Um, I think I'll play this until we get down to 15 cents. Well, never mind. We did get a bomb back, though, which is nice. Uh, there's also an arcade. There's no... Well, okay, you know what? This is okay. 
We might even want to roll with Book of Revelations, but I'm going to choose not to just because uh, I like the D6 as is, and it could be more beneficial for us, although the Book of Revelations could be amazing as well. So this Judgment card is very important. It could be a regular Judgment, it could be a Demon Judgment, but either way we'll be saving it for hope hopefully uh, Womb or uh, Utero 1. And if we manage to do that, uh, then we could get three Deal with the Devil items in one fell swoop. Six if you count with the reroll. I mean, we wouldn't really be getting the the items in that case, but you know what I mean. All right, Book of Revelations gets rerolled into Blue Candle. Damage has been a sore spot for us so far. This might actually be something that I want, but at the same time, it's it's hard for me to justify taking that when I uh, just said that I don't want Book of Revelations, which is probably more. Uh, it's it's actually probably less useful for us. So anyway, uh, let's let's make our way over to this item room over here. Fuck this room. You know what would be really useful in this room? Blue candle. I'm, I'm very quickly becoming a believer. And I saw my DPS. Now I'm a believer. Not a trace of damage to be found. I'm, I'm not very good um, at singing, in case you didn't notice. Uh, I, I tried out for the lead singing role for Smash Mouth, but uh, I didn't get it. I'm sorry to tell you that. My taskbar is doing weird things too. It's like phasing in and out. Probably due for a uh, computer restart. Oh, you know what? Maybe, um, maybe Steam just went back online. It was offline for a little bit earlier today. Maybe it's causing some weird shenanigans to happen. I don't know. You don't need to hear about my PC problems. You probably don't care if I had to guess. I don't have to guess. But, so, you probably don't care. You know what? Let's, fuck it. Blue candle it is. Is there anything else I would even want? Like, mom's coin purse. Or battery or nun's habit. Is that even that useful to me in this situation? I think, I, I personally believe the answer to that question is no. We already have, like, enough, as many rerolls as we could want. Rerolls haven't been the problem so far. It's been just a lack of good uh, pedestals, basically. Oh, come the F on. There goes our Spirit Heart, but whatever. I mean, we only bought that to kind of get Book of Revelations out of the pool. The Spirit Heart was just an added bonus. So we'll save uh, potential rerolls here for the item room instead. And I think we will be rolling with Blue Candle. I know it's going to frustrate some people, and, and with good reason. Because uh, D6 is a more fun item than Blue Candle, I would say. But uh, if we're going to win, I think Blue Candle is a more pressing item, especially when it comes to doing damage to enemies before they do damage to us. So, we have a Judgment here already. I'm gonna play him. This allows us to use our money while saving our existing Judgment, which might be a Demon Judgment anyway. And uh, we should be able to get some money back by way of the... Uh, two of Hearts. Oh, that's... I'm gonna use that right away. Uh, we should be able to get some money back by way of the Blood Bank. So if he doesn't pay out, we can get close anyway. And there's the Nun's Habit right there. So now there's really nothing in the shop that I could possibly want, but the flip side is that this really doesn't make our, uh, our de- or it wouldn't make Blue Candle any better, I should say. To take, uh, to take Blue Candle, it wouldn't really benefit from the fact that we have 9 Volt and Nun's Habit. At the same time, I do think that it's, it's actually probably the right tactical decision. It's not like a lazy, oh, I'm gonna, you know, compromise and we're gonna lose because I'm already subject, or I'm already thinking that we're gonna lose. I'm already resigned to the fact. No, I, I disagree. I think we're, um, I think we, we have a chance of winning and I think Blue Candle gives us the best chance. So it's gonna be, you know, maybe not the coolest Isaac run. Maybe this isn't the run you're gonna tell all your friends about. But here we are. We just got Guppy's paw, or sorry, <laughs> Guppy's head for free. And then we're going to re-roll it, and uh, that's going to become Brimstone. And you know what? There you go. You get your wish. We're going to take Brimstone, uh, which means we will not be taking Blue Candle. Because I don't really like using Blue Candle and Brimstone at the same time. So I think the way that we handle this now is I, I still need money. Like, I want to be able to actually play the Judgment on the next floor. But we'll already have a reroll ready. Maybe I'll just play it safe. Maybe we won't worry too much about it. We won't play the Blood Bank. And our damage still isn't great, so this Brimstone pickup is not a... Uh, it's not an enormous coup for us. But it's its potentially pretty big. Pretty fly. That doesn't help us at all. But hey, here we are. It's gonna be Blue Mom. 
from the Blue Mom group. And, uh, you know, the real, the real hook of Brimstone right now, because we're not really getting that much damage out of it, is the fact that we can use it to hit uh, multiple things at the same time. It's really, like, that's the best part of Brimstone. The, the crazy damage that you can get out of it in rare situations. Not super rare. Rare, like, not very common either. Uh, is, is secondary to the fact that you can hit multiple enemies at once with a relatively high damage beam. Like, that, that solves so many problems in and of itself. Alright, so watch out for Keeper there. And it's already so easy, or so much easier to uh, avoid taking damage when we can one-shot enemies, even if beating the boss itself is taking us like 30 shots. Oh, and then I, I took some damage, so it turns out I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just talking out of my ass as usual. That's okay too, explains why my breath smells so bad. Keepers are like the only enemy that I can't one-shot with this Brimstone level, I guess. Which is great, because they get spawned, uh, constantly. We're almost done with this fight, though. It's not like we were worried about getting a deal with the devil anyway. That will be reserved for the next floor. Come on, give me something that gives me a spirit heart here. The crate, squeezy, coin purse. Coin purse, I'm gonna reroll. We got a spirit heart already. Uh, mom's lipstick. Well, you know, the coin purse still could have been worse. Unlikely, but could have been. Not an XL floor, good. Womb part one. Uh, we are gonna go to the secret room, but let's work our way around first. Okay, don't, don't duck under. They ducked under. Oh, come on now. Okay, that extra bomb feels good. Man, if I hadn't gone to that curse room, we would be in a very peculiar situation right now. Which is to say that we would be fucked. Really? Oh, well, Gish finished the job. Each part of those body segments were like one hit away. I wonder if that's just like, if you break the middle segment first, it doesn't count, and all the other segments get like one HP. If so, that would be a pretty cool realization this late into my Isaac career. Uh, why is Brimstone not charging? It just charges slowly. Oh, because we probably have a different tier effect on this room, thanks to $3 bill. Which is not going to be that useful anymore, but, you know, it did its part for a while. That's, that's enough money. I was just making sure that there wasn't another... Actually, trading a key for a penny in that situation is pretty solid, but, uh... I, uh, was just making sure that uh, there wasn't another penny in there somewhere. I don't know why we're getting that. Anarchist cookbook, really? Come on. Doesn't help anybody here. Okay, we're not gonna worry too much about that. Save our bomb for the next floor. Uh, I will get rerolls here, but for now, let's just focus on actually getting to this, uh, getting to this boss room, and it looks like we may actually have a shot in hell of getting a deal with the devil. Can you believe it? Watch there be mom's knife, and I'll like get rid of brimstone immediately. Alright, moment of truth, it's gonna be death, gives us a second level meat boy, which is actually a really nice uh, get for us. We could still take three hits. That's not outside of the realm of possibility on the, the death fight. Not even close. We're actually safer, I think, in this situation once he, um, yeah, once this happens. So we can kill the zombies easily. The horse will probably get caught in a little bit of the crossfire. And uh, Death himself is kind of weak at this point. He just kind of floats around there, huh? Not too much to worry about. All right. Hey, we did it. Okay, so there's our cube of meat. This is the moment of truth. This is what we've been waiting for the whole game. Throw down this judgment card. It's regular judgment. Let's extinguish this fire if we can. Yeah, just don't want to put ourselves too much in harm's way. We're definitely going to take the mark, and we're definitely going to reroll uh, nine lives, unless maybe uh, Judgment pays out with Guppy's paw, which he didn't. So I'm gonna take the mark, then we're gonna reroll these two. We get Book of Sin in the Ouija board. It's not very good. Uh, I'm actually going to use our last two bombs to hurt myself here. So we get one last reroll. And we get Forget Me Now, Guppy's Tail. So Guppy's Tail takes us one item away from being Guppy and also gives us a golden chest, which is extremely important because, you know, it's kind of what we're in the market for right now. Uh, I was thinking that maybe that red chest would work out for us. Wow, these books, man. I mean, we're in the market for red chests as well. In fact, because we have so many uh, rooms left here and we've already seen so many books, why don't we try to make our way down to the library as well? Now, our damage should be 
marginally improved. And I do mean, like, not substantially when I say that. Uh, cool. Might as well. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, because we picked up the mark. And, you know, it's it's not a, a great, like, the greatest item we've ever had. It's, it's normally an item that you include as kind of like a footnote. Like, yeah, we, well, the reason we did so well is because we got the mark early. So that allowed us to take out, you know, easy enemies. And we will go through with this. Sure, whatever. I didn't pick up Anarchist Cookbook earlier. Very, uh, that's a rookie mistake. Book of Belial could be useful here. We will pick up both of those, of course. Um, but we're not gonna take it. Because the D6 is pretty important for us in, in the current, uh, climate that we've, we've established here. Thank God we're getting more keys. Certainly the most useful consumable for me at this point in time. Guess I shouldn't complain, because the next run will have no keys. And I'll be complaining about that instead. If it's not no keys, it's too many keys. If it's not too many keys, well, then I don't even know what it is. This is going to be a long run here. So make sure to pick these up first. We still have one more reroll, at least, without having to hurt ourselves. And there we go. Alright, well, if the game doesn't do it for us, we're going we're gonna to do it for the game, then. Brimstone Polyphemus, it carries some negative consequences. It's very long. Like, the charge-up time for it is absurd. But uh, the damage that it deals is crazy as well. Damage got you going so crazy right now. Your damage got me going so crazy right now. It's something that uh, if Beyonce was on this run, she might say that. So really, uh, I don't think we're going to be one-shotting bosses or anything like that. But probably like, you know, I would expect to maybe five-shot Mom's Heart. Which is good because we don't have any bombs. I realize, by the way, that we should probably, like, there's, there's no risk to trying this out. Yeah, it worked out for once. Uh, no, it didn't. Don't get too cocky. Alrighty, we're gonna reroll, um, Monster Manuel, because it's closer, marginally, and then we're gonna head down to the next floor and, and start to make our way into this game here. I think we can actually make this work. White Feather's not very good. I'm not even gonna pick it up, because I'm lazy. How do you feel about that? Probably not so hot. Alrighty, Womb 2. Uh, close trip to the boss room here, which I like a lot. Hopefully we've learned our lesson from the last time, and maybe we can get a secret Tinted Rock. Eh, we tried. Alright, one-shotting Chub feels pretty solid. Just get that up. There we go. We're, like, more than one-shotting them there. I realized that we could go to the arcade. It's probably something that, uh, that people do. I'm not super interested in it myself. Although we could get to a half heart interval, which is probably a smart idea. Okay. You know what? <laughs> That's the way we gotta deal with that, I guess. I'm not gonna go to the arcade. Forget it. I really thought that would finish the job. Instead, I, I very nearly took extra dumb damage. Okay, and our terror card is death, which we'll use... Uh, at some point on the next floor. Alright, so now let's just hope our charge time is fast enough. Oh, it sort of is, as long as the slow keeps up. Yeah, that's good enough. Alrighty. That was absolutely acceptable. Again, we have a... Oh, there's a double item room. Even though we're on the cathedral, I can't not go to the double item room. It's just too easy. Alright, I thought maybe I'd be able to get both of them there, but my timing was screwed. Hard to tell when it's charged up here. Infestation and Bum Friend get rerolled into Mom's Pad. And Holy Water, both of which are terrible. I think that would ruin Little Gish in this situation. And actually, you know what? Mom's Pad isn't terrible. It's just terrible because we have so many good, like, reroll chances coming up in the near future. Uh, the Joker card's pretty good. And... Well, what's this one? The Fool. Not so good. Joker card could be amazing, though. Let's pop that right away, because this is the last floor where it's even worthwhile. Okay, yeah. Forget the pact. We're just going to go full-on guppy here. Which will also give us a free uh, parasite, which I don't think affects us at all. This is looking pretty amazing right now, especially for a run in which we... Uh, previously, I think we were uh, pretty much assuming that it was going to be lost. 
So now we're gonna have these amazing flies with us as well. Careful. And the flies are actually really nice. Previously we were relying on second level Meat Boy and Gish to uh, get the job done when it comes to crowd control uh, while we're charging, but now it's pretty much over. It, it was a much harder run than usual to uh, actually get the items that we need to succeed, but it did take place. Alright, so I'm not going to pick him up just because whatever. Scapular, I don't even know if it works at this point in time. Neither do I know if Bomb Bag works, but I know that we're going to have a reroll ready uh, to take down to the chest if I just take these items. So that's what I'm going to do. So, let's continue on our warpath here. Greed should be a one-shotter. Uh, maybe I'll let's just see how much damage our flies do instead. Yeah. I think the flies do get generated just based on uh, Meat Boy hitting. Which is that? Excuse me? Which is actually amazing for us. Because my charge up time is so long that it can be a little annoying. Alright, let's see how quickly we take out Isaac here. Uh, not as quickly as maybe I would like. But still pretty damn quickly. Uh, especially if we get hit and have to pop permanent Polaroid invincibility. That was, that was really fast. Uh, and our boss is coming up here. Lard is something I can't take. It'll ruin permanent Polaroid invincibility. So you know what? I would say that even though I kind of like attack fly from time to time, we're in a rich enough position that we can afford to reroll it and get something even better. I actually don't like any of these enough to go through with. And normally, uh, I might be persuaded to try to skip through the secret room, but I don't think that even works on the shot or on the chest. And beyond that, uh, I want to get as many rerolls as possible. We get one every two rooms, so I think it'd be kind of silly of me to not at least try it out here. The strength card is bad, I think, for me in, in my current situation. So the only one I like here is really Mom's Bra. Which, if we were taking it into the uh, into the boss room, would be a great item for us. But we're not going to be taking it into the boss room because we have so many more rerolls uh, remaining. I don't know why it says I was against Wrath here, and obviously the dominant theme was uh, Super Lust, but the dominant theme was killed instantly, so not a big deal. Sure, I mean we could take Spelunker's hat. I guess this is just a show-off period right now, where I'm like, you know, it doesn't matter if we pick anything up or leave it sitting on the ground. I guess the only thing I want to worry about here is the. Uh, blue spikes. So we'll just watch out for those. It does kill some of our flies, which I'm not an enormous fan of. This is one, though. Man, none of these items are exciting. I feel like a petulant child right now, but at the same time, I put in the hours here to try to make this run work. We got very lucky that it did work, don't get me wrong. Polyphemus very early on our, um, after we deactivated the, the book portion of the library. That being said, uh, you know, I, I still had to work for it. There were some very frustrating floors on the on the way over here. So the Empress card, you know, it's gonna help. We don't need it though. We can afford to do that as much as we would want to. And I'm not even gonna use one last reroll. That's how disappointed I am in this floor. Screw it. Okay, pop the Empress card. See how much damage we do here. Not that much. But again, when we get hit, that's where a lot of our damage comes from. Being able to stand next to Blue Baby, triple suite of orbitals, all of our flies, Brimstone Polyphemus, working like crazy. Easy win! It took us a while to get to the point where it was easy, but it was easy in the end. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run, now that it's over. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.